we can start. I have a passion for inspiring people of all ages to embrace a healthy, active lifestyle. You don't need a gym membership or special equipment, so come with me to my happy place, and I'll share with you my investment strategy for successful aging. I call it wealth management without the money. I believe this approach will save you money and increase your profit margin in the long run. Keep in mind most things that get worse with age can get better with activity. I've worked in the fitness and the healthcare industry for over 35 years. And I will tell you hands down the single best ROI on overall health is activity. A sedentary lifestyle is now considered to be as dangerous as smoking. I do not think life is a spectator sport. My message isn't about traditional exercise and it's about movement for your body and your mind. They go together. Who needs to build buns of steel and abs of iron? What we really need is the overall strength to stay in the game of life and maintain independence for as long as possible. It's not rocket science, it's an easy flyer approach. <laughs> I believe that if we play, not perform, because when we do things that make us happy, we can actually change our blood chemistry and put a positive spin on it. The way we age is the way we used to be. I remind myself of the following acronym, daily and weekly, so that I cover everything and I want to cover my bases. B stands for balance, both mentally and physically. A, agility and flexibility, emotionally and physically. Strength overall. E stands for endurance and S for serenity. Balance is really easy. It's just keeping your center of gravity over your base of support. And that goes both for mental and physical. Because it's expensive to fall, mentally or physically. Physically, 10 to 50 grand, depending on parts and labor. <laughs> Not to mention the stress. Agility and flexibility, that helps me stretch my physical and emotional life through its largest range of motion, which decreases the chance of injury, both mentally and physically. Rigid bodies and minds are painful if, life, if life's movement pushes us beyond our limits. I'm used to this. Building strength is no more than pushing, pulling, or lifting your body against what you're accustomed to. I don't care about lifting iron. I care about lifting groceries, grandkids, and myself so I can stay as independent for as long as possible. Endurance, it's being able to hang in there for the long haul with enough energy to enjoy the journey and look forward to more in the future. Serenity, downtime, we heard about it earlier. It's an opportunity to rest, to recover, and to rejoice. Downtime is important both physically and mentally. We all need time for muscular repair and to dump our brain's trash. Quiet time decreases blood pressure and actually increases mood. Here's how I do it every day. I start with my trainers. It's always easier to be accountable if you have buddies to share the experience. My dogs keep me accountable. I call them my four-legged treadmills. Have you heard the saying, two legs will move your body and four legs will move your soul? This is our gym. It doesn't require membership fees, it's never crowded, and it smells good. <laughs> Research tells us a beautiful view and peaceful surroundings actually strengthen your immune system. Santa Barbara has so many, I urge you to go out and find them. Fueling your engine is critical. The definition of diet is really what you eat. If a recommended food plan s sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Energy comes from calories, and calories only come from four places. Carbohydrates, protein, fat, and most of us favorite alcohol. <laughs> Fresh fruits and veggies with all the colors of the rainbow give you your best bang for your nutritional bucks. Fads will come and go, so diversify your portfolio because moderation and balance are key, they're not trendy. 
Pick a plan that will withstand the test of time and your taste. And the formula for weight loss has always been the same. If calories you eat exceed the calories you spend, you're gonna gain weight. And for most of us, it's gonna be fat. So let's change our mindset when it comes to weight loss. Ditch the bathroom scale. It's size you wanna drop, not necessarily weight, because five pounds of fat takes up twice the space as five pounds of muscle. Muscle is your hot commodity, and it contributes to your well-being, and fat spreads out your bottom line. <laughs> so let's be realistic. Your shape and size is a 50-50 deal. Your genetic blueprint can't be changed, but your lifestyle can. If you're a pear shape, you can change your pear shape into a smaller pear shape. But there is no food plan or exercise plan in the world that's going to get you from a pear to a banana. <laughs> so here's my happy place, and I can help you find yours too. The best lifestyle plan for you is the one you will actually do. Know your risk tolerance and keep your goals realistic and achievable. And then, be the best you can be. Get up, get out, and get on with it. What good is wealth without your health? The bottom line, make it all fun. Enjoy the ride, because we don't get to go back and do it again. Thank you.